G'day, I'm Drew from Green Productions, and today we're looking at Auto Scene Detect in DaVinci Resolve. So if you like videos about DaVinci Resolve, you want to learn color grading and you want to learn some tricks, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I never actually asked people to subscribe, but I thought I'd better start doing it since I've made a lot of videos and I should probably put more effort in to get more subscribers. So this comes about from people being messaged me on Instagram, sliding to those DMs, asking me what my process is for doing remote grading and working with XMLs. So I don't usually work with XMLs anymore. I have this other method that works so much better. So I highly recommend learning this trick. It's gonna save you so much hassle down the line. And all it is, is basically, you get your client to export you a high-res version of their clip, say a ProRes 4444, and they can Google Drive it to you or whatever. Now, the reason why I like this and not XMLs is because XMLs have a lot of problems, clips are missing, you get freeze frames, the effects don't transfer across, transitions are an absolute nightmare. This, everything is baked in and it's so, so simple. So, how do you do it? So you come up to a single clip here and as you can see, all these clips are connected together, right? So all you gotta do now is right click that single clip, so highlight it, then right click it, and then go to scene cut detection. So it's gonna bring up this really ugly looking 80s neon pink graph. And then from there, all you do is auto scene detect and DaVinci Resolve will process it and figure out where it thinks the edit points should be for each clip. If we go through it again, as you can see, it's made all the right picks. So let's say we have a part here and DaVinci Resolve hasn't picked up an edit point. What we do is come down to add and then I'll add that edit point. Now let's say that edit point's not supposed to be there. So just go to the top of that edit point, come down to delete and DaVinci Resolve will delete that edit point. And then it'll also automatically go to the next edit point. So instead of having to hover over each one, all we gotta do is just delete, delete, and delete them. So now we have all our edit points, come down to add cuts to media pool, and then I'll add all those cuts into the media pool. So just cross that off. And as you can see, they're all in here. Come down to edit. So make sure you highlight them all at the same time. And this will make sure that they're all in order. And come to your start of your edit and just put them in. And as you can see, DaVinci Resolve has put them all in order and all your cuts are perfect. So if you really wanna check this, what I would normally do is I would also get someone to send me a compressed version of their music video or short film or documentary, it doesn't matter. I would bring that single clip back into their timeline. So I'd put that single clip over the top of the other clips and then I just put the opacity down. And so just to make sure that everything is lined up perfectly. So if even more worried that it hasn't lined up, I would highlight that clip, come to the color page and just make it a really ugly color that stands out. These are more here. You could see that, as you can see, they're not lined up properly. But of course they are because DaVinci Resolve is amazing. That's a really handy trick. I highly recommend using it or highly recommend learning at least. It's perfect for remote grading. I am so thankful that DaVinci Resolve has added into their software and I think it's really fantastic. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below or you can slide into the DMs on Instagram, link below. I have no problem with answering questions. I might be able to answer them straight away, but I'll definitely try and get around to answering any questions you have about Resolve or anything you want to talk about. I'm always free for a chat. So thanks very much. I've been Drew from Gringo Productions and have a great day.